In today's video, we're gonna talk about a bunch of new Blender add-ons and updates. This includes add-ons for modeling, animation, effects, grease pencil, productivity, and more. We're gonna start off with Perspective Plotter, which is a camera matching tool. Sometimes, when modeling a form of reference, you wanna match the exact settings of your real camera to the scene. Perspective Plotter allows you to set the correct focal length, location, and position of the camera in real time. It also allows you to work with multiple cameras in the scene. This tool is similar to FSpy, which is a free open source software for camera matching with added benefits of being directly inside Blender. The add-on was also released a couple of weeks ago and it has been bought by a lot of people already. The well-known add-on for fracturing objects, making realistic explosions, destruction debris, collisions, simulations and particles in Blender, RBD Lab has got its 1.2 update. This time with a brand new user interface and collisions panel with a new collision particles module, along with the particles to rigid bodies features in the motion panel and a new edge fracture feature that gives very realistic results. In addition to several improvements to the already existing features, including adding extra details to the fractures and fixing chunks. True Assets is yet another very useful add-on from TrueVFX. It is an easy to use asset browser for Blender that will allow you with only one click to automatically turn your blend files, texture folders, or any HDRI directory into assets stored into categories in such a way that make them quickly and easily accessible from any of your projects. In addition to the ability to create custom materials for your textures and HDRIs with a bunch of controls over their look using easy to use shaders, also material controls for things like roughness, transparency, displacement controls, color manipulation, etc. And world controls such as exposure, like intensity, blur, rotation, color changes, horizon lineup, and more. This new Blender add-on features a growing library of currently 35 highly realistic 3D scan trees that are very customizable. You are able to change the season look of tree models, whether it be winter, summer, autumn, or spring. You can animate the leaves, add moss or snow, create infinite variations of trees using the randomize function, and much more. You also have the possibility to switch between HD models for close-up shots or low-poly trees for forests in the background. And of course, this is going to be the case if you have a low-performing machine. There is also real size trees for applied PBR materials of texture maps up to 8K. In addition to the micro-displacement feature for high-quality level detail, especially at the trunks that allow you to achieve breathtaking renders for any of your projects, whether it be archives, concept art, and much more. This is a great deal for Blender users because this bundle will save you both time and money. Amon Deep's bundle features 12 useful add-ons including geocables and geopipes. As their name suggests, they are geometry node-based add-ons for generating procedural cables and pipes. In addition to bake a node add-on for baking the output of any shader node to an image texture. Also there is angle loop select for selecting edge loops around angles easily. In addition to align and distribute utilities add-on, also, Quick Roughness Layers add-on that allows for adding roughness maps in the form of layers to quickly add photorealism to any object. The Synced Modifier add-on is for adding modifiers to multiple objects at the same time. The Cavity Pass add-on is for adding fake bevels and light effects. Furthermore, there are four other small add-ons which are Transfer Images, Import as Decal, Quick UV Checkers, and Modifier Shortcut Keys add-ons. And these add-ons hopefully can speed up your workflow in one way or another. This new Blender add-on comes with over 100 decals that follow a non-destructive workflow for adding extra details to any 3D object without spending time finding or creating the right textures. These texture stamps are also well suited for adding texture details for live action footage as they look very realistic. The Anos interface is quite simple and organized into categories like graffiti, nature, cracks, etc. Each with its own image preview in the library. You just select the texture stamp from all the different ones available and then select the target object that you want to apply the decal to and the add-on will automatically 
add a shrink wrap modifier to the alpha texture plane, and then you can place it whatever you want on the object. And the assets are all optimized for both Cycles and Eevee. Sky version 5.0 has been released recently. This is a great add-on for creating realistic looking skies and lighting. By generating procedural volumetric clouds in a few clicks using presets of over 15 types of sky and 10 types of clouds, in addition to a lot of cool features such as day and night cycles, paintable clouds, thunderstorms, planets, procedural water, solar eclipse, and sun shadow. The new update brings compatibility with Blender 3.1+. And it does that for features including sky, stars for student version and moon, space, eclipse of full version, also volumes such as fog, rainbow, atmosphere, paintable clouds, in addition to clouds of different levels and altitudes. Garbage scatter is a new add-on that does exactly what it says on the box. It helps you scatter and paint garbage throughout your scene, such as bottles, drinks, sodas, papers, debris, and much more. The add-on is extremely easy to use and tweak. It comes with four trash categories, nine assets, and much more, and it supports multiple trash layers. Run Tool is an all-in-one Blender add-on that makes your life much more easier when dealing with repetitive tasks such as modeling, detailing stuff, presentation, or rendering. There are tools to model wires, lighting tools, texture baking tools, and much more. The add-on also offers backup tools to help you keep track of your object backup versions. Pcutter, on the other hand, is an awesome grid-based Boolean modeling tool. It offers a really easy way of Boolean cleanup. In the last version, Pcutter saw a lot of improvements and features such as grid vertex alignment, which would allow you to align the grid to any vertex you want. There is also a new face mirror option in addition to intersecting angle snapping and much more. Overcast Pro is a collection of fully procedural clouds, fog, and other volumetrics ready to use assets that you can use in any of your projects. All the assets are well optimized for realistic and efficient rendering workflows, and by the way, all of them are animated. The add-on also comes with four custom volumetric shaders optimized for highly detailed and fast rendering. Using Overcast Pro, you can create fog volumes, polo lights, and everything else in between. The Blender Grease Pencil from Mesh add-on received this week a very interesting update. This add-on is used for converting mesh objects to grease pencil objects by having control over sharp edges, intersections, and curved surface outlines. It also converts all mesh materials into grease pencil colors. It is a great add-on for creating sketchy and stylized looking renders, especially if you have ready 3D models, as it features tools to customize the converter object such as edge noise, random thickness, edge offset, and multi-lines. It is even able to generate outlines around curved surfaces according to your point of view. The new 2.5 update brought some cool features, including the support of text objects and the ability to convert objects with animated deformations at any given frame of the animation. And this will also give an onion skin in preview of the next keyframes, or the ability to convert the whole animation by just selecting the starting and ending keyframes and you have your grease pencil animation. This in addition to bug fixes related to converting 3D flat objects. The new version is also compatible with Blender 3.1. We've also had this week three iDesign bundles that will help fully speed up your workflow in Blender, as each one of them has three add-ons, including one for free. First, the iDesign Tools bundle comes in very handy for adding details to your objects and scenes. It includes the Surface Detail add-on, which is a tool that not only helps you create high-quality detailed and futuristic looking surfaces, but it also can be used for easily customizable organic surfaces just by playing with custom map options. It also comes with over 40 ready-to-use presets for quick results. The second add-on is Easy Displacer, which is a simple and quicker way to add displacement maps to your objects. It comes with 10 fully customizable presets such as Noise, Voronoi, and Marble, with the Auto Subdivision feature, of course. And the free add-on is Fully Use Tool, which is a simple tool for scattering objects on other surfaces and objects. And it can do this the same way as Unreal Engine Fully Use Tool, which means using weight painting. The second bundle from the same developers is iDesign Sci-Fi Bundle, 
It will help you quickly create sci-fi scenes with particles, lighting, and related elements. It includes Particles X, which is an add-on that makes it possible to create good-looking particle systems in no time, while targeting sci-fi environments. The bundle also includes a sci-fi elements add-on that comes with the necessary tools to animate and customize your set of sci-fi elements, along with the free add-on of this bundle, which is Sci-Fi Hat Add-on. It features over 100 elements, 40 props, and 20 pre-made UIs, also with some ready-to-use HUD presets that you can directly use in your scenes. Last but not least, I design City Bundle for creating any city scene you want. First, the City Road Builder add-on, which is a good road system for any curved or straight roads, intersections, and more. Using iDesign's Garbage Scatter add-on, you can add a level of realism very easily by scattering around in your city a variety of assets as we mentioned before in this video. Finally, using the Procedural City add-on that comes with 7 presets of fully customizable buildings, you can add geometry node-based buildings for standard results with just few clicks. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.